हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू शोर क्लासेस दिस सेमिनार इज ऑन द रीजनल मैथमेटिक्स ओलिम्पियड और द आर एम ओ दिस इज फॉर स्टूडेंट्स हु आर अबाउट टू गो फॉर द रीजनल मैथमेटिकल ओलिम्पियड नाउ नोट दैट इन स्कूल्स नाउ डेज देर आर नंबर ऑफ मैथमेटिकल ओलिम्पियड विच and it is very difficult to find out which is which and uh, what is there are many uh, organizations providing mathematical olympiads in the international level maybe but the only official mathematical olympiads are in india are held uh, by the rmo and the inmo team and this leads up to the international mathematical olympiad where you get to represent your country in uh, an event where you get to solve excessively uh, challenging problems okay so please note that uh, if you are from west bengal if you are from west bengal then uh there is something called the pre rmo the pre regional mathematics olympiad and this is conducted by the aiapt and this is followed by the regional mathematics olympiad by isi conducted by the indian statistical institute and those who get selected in the um rmo get selected for the inmo which is the indian national mathematical uh, olympiad and you get to uh, uh, represent your region or your state in the um, olympiad so this leads up to a short list and after you are short listed uh, in a boot camp in an i am uh, international olympiad training camp conducted by the this is the imotc conducted by the hbcac mumbai and this uh, you are being part if you are selected of a six member team a six member team you get to represent india at the international level so the honor and the respect and if you are daunting enough if you are willing to take a challenge about and if you are passionate about mathematics and how if you are passionate about solving crazy puzzles you are absolutely going to dig this uh, competition right so let's get to the eligibility usually the students of class 9 Through 12 are eligible for the RMO. Now, in some cases, there and there have been cases where an exceptionally brilliant student of class eight is allowed to take part in the regional mathematical Olympiad. But the regional coordinator has discretion to allow or bar a student from uh, entering the exam. premises right so let's go to the stages which one must follow to reach the international level now before you start you start from scratch so in the first stage the first step to the international mathematics olympiad is the pre regional stage this is the pre rmo stage let me just write it this is the pre rmo stage and here pre rmo stage rmo stage and you get to uh, solve a variety of uh, mcq or uh, um, like subjective problems uh, in the pre rmo stage now once you get to the regional mathematical olympiad stage you get to uh, after you clear this you become you come to the regional mathematical olympiad stage where the pattern is the same and once you clear this you enter the national indian national mathematical olympiad or the inmo now in the inmo the the pattern is slightly different that you get to solve just subjective problems 
and um, if you clear that you get to go to the IMO training camp here you get uh, selected and if you are in the top six if you are in the top six you get to be part of the pre-departure camp so national to IMO training camp and from there you get to the pre-departure camp and if you are part of here this is just a boot camp or just a brush up you get to brush up your skills you get to meet the stalwarts of Indian mathematicians like BJ Venkatachala and so on and these people they train you they mentor you and they then you get to represent India at the international level at the IMO so the the best part about the IMO is that you if you are lucky then you may be able to uh, you may be uh, uh, appearing for this exam in a different country and uh, usually what the government does is that the government will bear the cost of your uh, plane fare and your travel expenses and everything and whatever you need they will pay it for you so no need to worry about that okay so coming to the syllabus now you have that uh, geometry you must go through and people who are now studying just past 10 uh, just please note that geometry will still be there and you will be dealing with a wide variety of problems and pretty challenging problems like Chevas theorem, Menelaus theorem, nine point circles and so on and so forth. Now you will be dealing also with an important part called the number theory. Now what is the number theory? Number theory deals with the science of numbers and if, if that isn't obvious you will be dealing with the Fermat's theorem, Fermat's theorem, uh, like amicable numbers, amicable numbers, primality testing, primality testing, and so on and so forth. These are just a few. These are just a few, and there are many more topics. There are many more topics. And the thing is that you don't have to mark this up. They don't want you to mark up anything. Even though that uh, we are going through the syllabus, there is actually, actually no syllabus. As they have said, geometry. So anything can be asked from geometry. As they said, number theory. So anything can be asked from number theory. And you have algebra and combinatorics and functional equations. I'll come to them in a bit, but... Uh, the, the point I'm trying to make is that there is no definite syllabus. Everything in the Mathematical Olympiad can be uh, done from scratch if you have the brains. Right. If you have the metal, you can construct those proofs. You can construct those answers from scratch. And that is the entire point of mathematics. Not to mug up. Just plain simple logic and how well you apply that logic on paper. How well you know those concepts. They will be testing you for that. So then coming to algebra. Then you, here you have stuff like theory of equations. Theory of equations which mean quadratic, uh, biquadratic, cubic equations. And uh, you will be, ch be challenged with problems in probability and uh, uh, a number of problems like uh, inequalities, inequalities, then, uh, then you will be challenged by problems in the uh, combinatorics section. Now what is combinatorics? For those of you who haven't been to class 11 yet or are still uh, in the 8th, 9th or 10th stage. Let me tell you that this combinator is, is actually the uh, process by which you can count. This is actually the process of counting. Of counting. So you will be learning to count all over again. And I can, and if you are a 11 or a 12th grader right now, then you are probably snickering at this simplicity. It is not that simple. You have a number of things like the pigeonhole principle, 
the inclusion of exclusion inclusion exclusion principle and a wide variety of things and then you have uh, functional equations where you get to deal with how functions behave how functions behave then here you have cauchy functional equations cauchy functional equations and functional equations which form a huge part of this and you the basic idea that you will be given problem solving techniques in these boot camps what they teach you is that after you clear rmo after you are well prepared rmo just says that yes you are well prepared for this boot camps that take place before the inmo takes place they give you actually you are actually well prepared so let me just write it well prepared so before uh, the inmo there is actually a postal system there is actually a postal system postal system where they send you a questions and you get to answer them independently and post your solutions so there's that and you get basically if you love maths and you want to be surrounded by mathematics this is the line you should go through so a student should be going through first steps first you should be thorough with your ncrt books of 6 7 8 9 10 you cannot leave leave any stone unturned and this is just for geometry there is a wide variety of books for rmo and uh, inmo and so on and so forth and we have an exemplary material this is one of the only uh, books there is one of the few books rather which is totally based on rmo and they we have a variety of problems so the problems isn't the factor first you have to uh, get to know first you have to get to know the basics first and then you apply on some good and quality problem so here in this field you can contact us as we have a very thorough a book on in fact we have 3 4 books on rmo alone on the material is actually 3 4 books and it's pretty thick i went through the entire thing we have proofread it one by one and it's uh, we have tried to keep it free from errors but the thing is that it's thorough is thorough is more thorough than most of the textbooks they recommend for rmo and uh you must try and solving uh, you must try to solve unsolved problem banks this is where you get to test your metal because before uh, if you're not confident about the solving part uh, then you cannot perform well in the examinations now don't try to jump don't try to jump to tougher problems just by saying that you are preparing for olympiad this is totally wrong this is totally wrong do not try to do that try to build your concept first that is what is needed and as i said that you can construct these things from scratch but the thing is that uh, you, if you do not know what to do maybe the higher level problems maybe the tougher problems will be more beautiful maybe they will be more interesting in some cases but the thing is you should not go there directly okay so try to increase the level of problems gradually okay let's now move to the exam pattern so the exam pattern is basically simple you have uh, mcq and uh, subjective questions so this is subjective subjective and i think you have around about 30 or 40 mcq questions maybe 20 to it varies i think it sometimes varies but the problem solving or the uh, subjective parts is really really daunting so prepare yourself and as i said in the previous slide that do not try to jump problems this will create even more problems do not try to try to build your concept we have we have an extended 
extended material on this subject so try to go through our books okay so how to apply there is no application so you just apply on plain paper apply on plain paper okay so once you have done that just uh, uh, apply to the of uh, just go to the regional or the official website and then you just apply to the uh, uh, www.hbcse.tifr.res.in and you can download the list of regional coordinators and once you are actually applying to the regional regional coordinator it is a very simple technique and uh, it is the because of the few number of students that actually appear from the examination there is no need of an application form as of now and i cannot tell you if uh, the application forms will be available just be sure to check this site so that you get to stay updated on the same right so once that's out of the way we'll move to the tentative date of examination so the date of examination is usually um, on the second sunday of october and as i have told you here that the time in hours is actually two when you are doing mcqs and when you are doing uh, problem solving it's actually three in hours this is in hours right so be prepared for a long examination right so this is the time okay so let's go to the fee structure the fee structure for applicants is 100 rupees which is pretty much nominal this includes postage this includes postage and the amount will be sent as a demand draft drawn on any nationalized bank in favor of your regional coordinator so you have to address to the regional coordinator as per your application so you will have to uh, this should be accompanied by a self-addressed unstamped 12 inch into 6 inch envelope okay so now here is our suggestion that it is preferable that all the applicants from the same school send their applications together through the school with a single demand draft okay. please attach a typed list of all applicants for speedier process in this case the fee per candidate is reduced even further to 85 rupees there is and let me tell you there is there is no reservation reservation uh, on basis of your caste or creed so if you are uh, an uh, uh, belonging to and uh, the SC or the ST uh, sections so there is no other alternative you still have to give the nominal amount of 185 so uh, this is it for the fee structure even there is no reservations here. considering I forgot to tell you this but there is actually no reservations there is actually no reservations uh, on the basis on basis of exam results so the person with the topmost marks with the person with the highest marks gets automatically enrolled so uh, there is no need to, to panic there in any case so we have our online class structure so this is our online class structure we have our classes online as well as offline in our online classes you can apply if you are not in delhi and calcutta you can apply online with regular online classes you will have doubt clearing extra sessions and you will have weekly mock tests and you will also have a complete analysis of your subject 
now there is also a second structure which is structure 2 if you feel confident and it's best to not feel overconfident but still if you have someone to guide you but you just need the resources then you can download our, our pre-recorded uh, lectures all of the lectures are customized for your examination that is the RMO, the INMO and the IMO and the lectures can be viewed infinite number of times so it doesn't matter how many times you are viewing the lectures just once you have to give us a payment and we'll be do, giving you the uh, the lectures okay so students will also get a doubt clearing sessions in case you run into any problems and you will have weekly mock tests and with a complete analysis of your subject so there's that okay so if you are living if you are among the lucky few living in delhi at new delhi or calcutta feel free to just rush over here and get our live classes which are absolutely fantastic you also get free study materials and as i said those study materials are exhaustive and uh, you also get weekly doubt clearing and mock tests with a complete analysis oh and did i tell you that you also get video backup so you also get video backup along with the mock test and it is a total win-win scenario for you so you can order uh, in case you want to feel that you can do this yourself you can order our study materials online at www.sortofclasses.com slash bookstore this is the official id or you can head over to amazon or Flipkart here is the Amazon link and the Flipkart link if you want you can take a screenshot or you can pause the video here and see what is being done like if you can head over to our website here okay so if you want to contact us contact us over uh, the website that is uh, www.sorofsaclasses.com or you can email us at sort of das 3366 at gmail.com. You can also uh, email us at uh, sort of classes at gmail.com. And uh, this is our phone number. You can call us at 9367-93076. Thank you for watching our video. And we wish you all the very best in your exams thank you for watching